With Cody being such a big name on YouTube, I imagined that most dirt on him was already out there and this Tana Montague stuff was just kind of the tip of the iceberg that really started this whole toxic gossip train. But seriously, I thought that most things out there were already pretty bad, especially, you know, a 25 year old sleeping with a 17 year old. That's, that's a pretty big allegation. But to my surprise, and it does make sense, but to my surprise with this whole cancellation of Cody Ko, some things that um, were maybe a little bit more tucked away are now coming to light. Through everybody's favorite platform, Reddit, there is a lot of things being shared about Cody Ko. Now just to start, I can say, I don't know what of these are true. I don't know, you know, exactly how deep this rabbit hole goes the very last allegation which is arguably the worst one that i'm going to bring up in this video is not provable even the quote-unquote you know proven reddit post that talks about it still doesn't have a lot of proof linked to it within itself so just keep that in your mind so to start we're going to go over this website called undit which is like reddit but you can put this tool in front of reddit pages and it will show you for example what kind of things are filtered out or deleted by mods of any given subreddit now obviously running this through cody Co's, at first you know you can can see there's only a few reds showing that in the most recent there's not a whole lot and then as you get farther down you can see mods are like really trying to delete as much as they can which as you can see is a lot about Tana like almost all of it if you like just skim through the titles now I'll be honest I don't really know how long Cody's mods plan to keep this up because he's kind of a lost cause if I'm being honest now we will get to this in the video but Cody has made an appearance since the original expose video came out by D'Angelo Wallace but hey just before that if you guys wouldn't mind i'm really really trying to hit 5k before the end of the year so if you can just go down there tickle the subscribe button it would mean a lot to me so anyways like i said and i'm not gonna be one of those kind of youtubers that like saves the juiciest stuff for last i just kind of want to show you all these new things coming to light so you're as informed as i was when i was browsing reddit and youtube for example this next one which is kind of interesting and in a twisted way funny i guess you could say it's cody's i guess humor of the whole situation but he did a dj appearance which i'm assuming even you know like regardless of all this stuff coming out he had to make this appearance just because it was probably contractual or whatever but here he is performing at a club called the encore beach club that doesn't really matter i guess it's interesting that they still let him play all you know his other outlets he's been deleted off of the cut youtube channel which if you know anything about cody co especially the cody and co channel he was huge on that channel he did you know things for cut he made videos for them but it already seems like they're tying their relationship with him just like britney broski who was in a cody co video and cody co hosted Britney Broski's show through TMG Studios. We're going on a tangent, but I'm saying it's interesting that Encore still let him perform when people pretty deep in his circle are already cutting ties. And I don't want to jump the gun and say that Cody's going to respond or anything, but this is the exact same thing that was happening. There were people leaving internally from Dr. Disrespect, his brand, his game studio, his like YouTube partnerships and whatnot. They all started backing out before anything was even public. So they knew something was going on. So obviously I'm just saying it seems like they know something's going on here too anyways that 360 degree we're back to cody playing at this uh, encore beach club so what he's playing and this is i guess the joke i was talking about what he's playing is sorry by justin bieber and i could just play a little snippet for copyright obviously But you can interpret that as you will. I don't know. I didn't watch any of Cody's old sets, like his DJ sets. So I don't know. He could use this song regularly, or this could just be like a really meta joke. But as of now, that is the only performance, response, comment, anything of Cody since this all came out. And he did post pretty regularly to his Cody and Co channel. So the fact that he's not posting there anymore is kind of telling. So now the next one, and this is like some pretty juicy hypocrisy, is Cody and Noel, they're on a podcast four years ago. And the podcast clip, they're talking about about Drake and Jerry Seinfeld being in mm, relationships with younger people, younger females specifically. Obviously, you get what I'm talking about. YouTube, don't hate me. <laughs> I was going to, I'll leave it alone. What? Little kid f***ing parties. All right, I'll leave it alone. All right, I'm sorry. What is he a files is a kid. <laughs> I just assume past a certain, <laughs> uh, dude, past a certain threshold of money, I just assume all these guys are pedophiles. If I'm being <laughs> fucking honest, I feel like I want to know the number where a rich guy converts to a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because it's like, it just seems like he, a certain. They're like, what else can we experience? Yes, yeah. It seems like pa past a certain amount of money and power, like, uh, I can't like prove it, but you know, I mean, Drake had enough to at least flirt with a 16 year old and like date one. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even Jerry know. Jerry Seinfeld? 
Oh, oh fucking yeah. That shit. Yeah, you got a straight up. He publicly dated a teenager. A teenager for like a while. Took her to a baseball 16, game. 16, what? Se- something like that? Yeah, 17. He was like publicly. And he yeah. was like 50 or something like that. It was like his 40s, late, late 30s or okay, something. Okay, yeah. Feeding her yeah, hot yeah, dogs and shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was like 85. <laughs> she was like nine years old. <laughs> It's actually 17 and 35. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same fucking thing. Yeah. So, like, Cody publicly denouncing this of being with a 17-year-old, and then, you know, a few years later, being with a 17-year-old, or it's coming to light that he was with a 17-year-old. I don't know. Personally, I just, that hypocrisy there was too funny for me. And, you know, that's one point I wanted to bring up in the last video that I kind of forgot about is, I wonder how Noel is thinking about all this. Like, he's got to be super, well, maybe he already knew about it. And, you know, I don't want to throw any shade to Noel because Noel, from all that I could see and before i knew this about cody they both seem like really good guys and i could just imagine with everything they've worked so hard to build tmg is not just this joke little studio it is massive it was massive and everything they built all their videos together all their relationships their music that potentially just has to go away now and let me know what you think noel thinks about all this because maybe he already knew about it because him and cody were so close but potentially not what the fuck <laughs> Can you imagine being 25, sitting in classes, pretending you're 16? God damn, dude. <laughs> Just learning about, like, the periodic table and shit. Oh, my God. You're like, yeah, yeah. Oh, gold. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Girls being like, hey, you're on varsity, right? And you're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I can't Listen, talk this to is you. A, uh, this this is isn't a, a good idea. <laughs> Here's a TikTok that somebody posted of a old podcast clip. These podcast clips are really digging, digging the grave. But they're talking about somebody that's 25 in class being around 16 year olds. And they both acknowledge that it's weird, you know, to be confronted, let's just say, by a 16 year old when you're not that age. And I mean, 25, 16, 25, 17, there's really just one year off. And I'm just going to be honest. If you're one of those people that are like, oh, it's just one year from 18. So it's different than six. Just, just get out of here. I don't need the view. I don't need the like. I don't need anything. Just get on out of here. But if you're not one of those people go ahead and lock in that like button but on a real note those old podcast clips uh, comparatively to what we know and these were around the same time too uh, you know it's no wonder why you can tell cody's kind of acting a little awkward when noel's talking about this stuff it it makes sense just a little bit and then here we have you know like i said old things resurfacing cody cohen kelsey cody's wife passing a vape to 16 year old emma chamberlain and i'm very excited it's pretty fucking basic i'm pretty pumped i can't believe i'm here <laughs> <laughs> okay guys here we- i'm gonna be hitting the jewel for the first time don't try this at home really crazy this is fucking nuts this is do you want to feed it to me? <laughs> Baby's first jewel. That was weird. That was good. <laughs> I did pretty good. I didn't cough. Subscribe. Didn't cough. Well, that was a fake cough for the attention. This one, I would say, just because of the sheer proof of it, and I'm not discrediting Tana or anything like that, but obviously, you can't deny that they handed a 16-year-old a vape with most likely nicotine, as it's like a jewel, uh, to a 16-year-old on camera. And I don't know, I tried to look, I couldn't see if this was posted anywhere or not, but, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's provable, that's right in front of our faces. And see, I'm at a weird standpoint, because obviously, Kelsey's going to defend her husband, that's her husband, that's the father of her kid, you know, but uh, it would be interesting to see some kind of a response from her as well because not only does she have the moral obligation to be like yes this is wrong but she also has the obligation to her husband my my prediction on kelsey is the exact same as cody neither of them will respond because kelsey isn't really in a position to respond i guess as far as this clip it's it's so out of pocket i just i can't even okay and now lastly this is the last of the newest and the most juiciest allegations i could find and this i'm going to tell you right now I I do not know if it is even provable. This is Cody Co. and some old vines in a seeming by the caption and whatnot relationship with a 17 year old. You know, give her a little smoochy smooch. Again, I have no idea at all if this is an actual 17 year old, if this is a 29 year old, if this is a 15 year old. I have no idea. And you know, following all the paths I could to this person, they're like, I used to watch a lot of vines and I remember distinctly Cody being in a relationship with a 17 year old and he still follows her on Instagram. But really, Realistically, I mean, let's say, you know, you go to the Instagram and I'm not going to put that on the screen just because I don't want, you know, any of that traction to go that direction, especially to somebody that doesn't deserve it. But just imagine, you know, you go to their Instagram and it says that they, their age now versus when that clip was posted, obviously just like the Tana stuff, turns out she's 17. Then maybe there's some proof there, but just blasting this person, which in the video that that is a minor right there it, it, by the application, right? If you say that's a minor, if 
it actually is. And they're just free willy blasting that around. So again, take that with a grain of salt. You can go and do your own research on that if you want. I have no idea if that's an actual 17 year old. I'm gonna be honest. Cody Ko dated a high schooler who was not graduated from high school when he was 24 and she was 17. Noel even knew about this because in January 18, 2019, he posted a video and referenced Cody as being someone who would be old going after young people and showed a picture of a grandpa going after younger women. And he said, this is going to be Cody one day. There's going to be a documentary about him. Speaking of Cody, we got a documentary about Cody ready right to go right here. Hi, Ben. <laughs> Look, we'll see how far we get in on this. But we got the Cody Code documentary right here. And I will specifically note, I don't think he was referencing that specific relationship because he does bring up Kelsey shortly after. However, the way that the video flowed did make it seem like he knew what was going on back then. There's also a video of him kissing the side of her head as like legitimate proof. Oh, it didn't work. Kinda. Fuck. This video was seemingly taken in May of 2015, so she would have just graduated high school, so she probably just turned 18 at the time of this video. But they met at Coachella in April of 2015, therefore that still makes her 17 at the time of this. Dates, times, colleges, all of that information in a solid timeline is over at the Cody Co Reddit. So shout out to those guys. If it is, well, that is the best definition of putting the nail in the coffin that I've ever seen. So from the time of recording, it looks like he's lost about 210,000 subscribers on his main channel and about 110 on his second channel. You know, I'll just be honest. What sucks is like, myself and people that work exponentially harder than me to get anywhere near the success of like Dr. Disrespect, Cody Co, etc. EDP 445 and to make one stupid decision like sending some inappropriate messages in a whisper or literally meeting up with a minor, 17 year old Tana and potentially the second one or trying to go get a cupcake, I guess. It's all so stupid. Like putting all that work in just like with Noel, you put all that work in with somebody, you guys build these awesome brands who have the dream job of so many people and you throw it all away after making millions because you're thinking with the wrong head. It sucks, man. It really does. But hey, that's going to be all for me. Let me know what you thought about today's video and I'll see you guys next time.